All right, let's take a look at number three, practice problem number three associated with sample problem D here in uh, chapter four, section four. Um, <clears throat> here we're going to have some rapid fire uh, questions that are dealing with uh, calculating uh, forces um, using coefficients of friction. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out as I read this, um, it said use the values in figure 4.7. Okay, figure 4.7 uh, is a table. Um, it's a table, and it's full of coefficients of static friction and coefficients of kinetic friction for various substances that are going to be referred to in these different problems. Right? So, it's, you know, steel platform, steel shield, uh, wood floor, uh, glass display case. So, y here's the thing. You're not supposed to have memorized these things, uh, but you do need to have your, your textbook open so that you can just read these values directly off of the table. So, again... Uh, they're on page, uh, I believe it's 138, 138, uh, figure 4.7. They give you all those coefficients of friction, both uh, uh, both kinetic and uh, static. <clears throat> okay, so a museum curator moves artifacts into place on various uh, different display surfaces. That's, a, that's an annoying pretext. Uh, pretty darn um, contrived. But use values in figure 4.7, again on page 138 of your textbook, to find uh, F, F max and Fk for the following situations. So for all four of these, A, B, C, D, we're actually going to be doing two calculations. Now, uh, <clears throat> before uh, I get started, I am going to calculate the uh, calculate. I'm going to rearrange these equations uh, to represent the values that I want them to represent just one time and then I'm going to reuse that generic equation as I, as I go as I go down <clears throat> so um, actually I don't have to re never mind, I don't have to read it, just using the definitions ah I freaked myself out okay um, so I know that s sorry f s max is equal to coefficient of static friction multiplied by the normal force. But again, normal force is going to be a little bit easier to use if I represent it as mg because I know uh, the acceleration due to gravity uh, and I just have to assume it's opposite direction, right? So 9.1 meters per second squared. Uh, and then these problems are actually giving me, each giving me a, a, a mass. So I'm actually going to use coefficient of static friction, m, g. Okay, so plugging in some values. Uh, again, looking at figure 4.7, I'm, I'm not memorizing these things. Uh, I'm not expecting you to have memorized them, uh, but you have, to, you have to actually look up the value right here. Coefficient of static friction, uh, that steel platform. All right, um, the mass is 145 kilograms, and that acceleration is... 9.81 meters per second squared. And remember, it's positive because normal force, opposite direction as acceleration due to gravity, but same magnitude. And so we end up with, let's see, a whole bunch of calculator work. Um, I should be using two significant figures here to report my answer. So I'm going to end up with 8.7 times 10 to the second newtons. Right? So it's newtons, right? I'm going to end up with a force. So they got no units right here, so that doesn't matter. Then I have kilograms multiplied by acceleration. I hope you remember uh, by this point that kilograms times meters per second squared is in fact a newton. So my unit is newton. Now I have to do uh, <clears throat> the kinetic force. Right. Um, so again, it's going to be the same setup. Force equal to coefficient of kinetic friction times normal force. But in the same way, it's a lot easier for me to use mg. So what I'm really going to calculate with is coefficient of kinetic friction times mass times acceleration due to gravity. But again, positive because in the opposite direction. So uh, looking at the uh, figure 4.7, or 4 coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.47. Again, the mass is 145 kilograms. 
Acceleration due to gravity, positive, is 9.81 meters per second squared. Again, two sig figs. Uh, that tells me that I should report, my calculator, what did you tell me? Uh, six point, yeah, seven. That's in the second, Newtons. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So we can get through these in a timely manner. <clears throat> I think I think it's pretty contrived, but uh, you, you know, you guys need to pay attention to when you're working out these problems. Look at all the verbs uh, in A, B, C, and D. Uh, they're all different, right? Moving, pulling, pushing, sliding. It doesn't matter. They are moving, right? Kinetic, the ki kinetics are at play here. Like you, it's, it's moving across the floor. So again, you have to get it started, right? That's overcoming, uh, you know, this, this FS max. Once you get it started, once you get it started, uh, when you get it started, you're considering the coefficient of static friction. And then once it's moving, in order to keep it moving, you're going to find the that kinetic force. You're going to be using the coefficient of kinetic friction. Okay, and so they're telling you that using these four different verbs, they they, they all mean they're moving, right? Right. Part B again. F S max. What's the way I'm actually going to use that in practice? Coefficient of static friction uh, multiplied by m g, and then I'll have f k. Coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by m g. Now I can start plugging some stuff in. Okay, so for the steel shield, right? Is that the one I'm doing? Uh, let's see, where's that though? It's 0 0.74, and it's a 15 kilogram mass again positive value of acceleration due to gravity because it's normal force and calculator tells me two sig figs everybody calculator tells me some stuff don't always believe it you got to consider <coughs> the appropriate number of significant figures all right on to kinetic referring to the table uh, 0 0.57 again multiplied by 15 kilogram mass Acceleration due to gravity, but in the opposite direction. And I'm going to go with, again, two sig figs. There's a thing here. 84 newtons. Moving on to C. Now, if I can remember what those values were, yeah, it's going to be. It's only going to have one sig fig is what this is going to end up being like. F, S, max. F, K. Coefficient of static friction. Coefficient of kinetic friction. Multiplied by the normal force, represented as mg. That shoots the information that I've been given here. Now, when I look at the table to get these coefficients of friction here, I notice that I'm only given one significant figure. So when I go to report my answer, I'm going to have to use one significant figure. In this case, it would be just a thousand. So I guess I go one times ten to the third newtons. One sig fig. It kind of looks weird, but I do believe that is correct. All right. So a uh, kinetic co a coefficient of kinetic friction. This one is again. I'm looking at the table here. I'm not memorizing these at all. And one significant, so that should be about 500, about 500, 500. But with one significant figure, or you could just actually write 500. I mean, you could write 1,000, right? As long as you don't put a, uh, as long as you don't put a decimal in here anywhere, uh, that would work. Or you could just, you could also write 500, right? Again, don't, don't um, put any decimals in there, or that'll mess you up. All right, last one. D here. Again, doing these rapid fire can really help you get used to the process. All right. Okay, so what am I doing here? Uh, glass display case. Uh, <coughs> All right, so 0 0.9. 
and 0 0.55 kilograms. Acceleration due to gravity, but in the opposite direction, so it's positive. And again, one significant figure, so I'm going to go with 5 newtons. Zero point four on on the kinetic coefficient of kinetic friction. Where's my mass? Mass is 0.55 kilograms still. 9.81 meters per second squared. And then I'm going to go with, again, one significant figure. So my final answer is going to be 2 newtons. Ah, ah, ah. Again, these are pretty darn straightforward. These kind of come down to, um, again, our, our definitions here. Um, so hopefully this uh, showed up in your notes, and you can recognize when to use uh, these forms of equations.